Hi everybody, Logan with Enduro Engineering. Today we're going to show you how to install your clutch slave guard on your two-stroke Sherco models. Okay, we're going to show you what you're going to need to install your Enduro Engineering clutch slave guard on your Sherco two-stroke model. In your package, you're going to have one clutch slave guard. You're going to have two 6x25 bolts, four 6x30 bolts. You're going to have two 6x35 bolts, two 6x40 bolts. You're going to have two spacers, and also in your package will be instructions. What you're going to need to supply is an 8mm T-handle or socket wrench. Okay, your Sherco is going to come with a stock plastic guard. What you're going to want to do is remove that. You're going to take out both the top and bottom bolts with your 8mm T-handle or socket. There's going to be a spacer on the back side that you can pull out, you're not going to need anymore on both top and bottom bolts. And then there's also a metal bracket on the back side too that you're not going to need either. Okay, now that you have your plastic OEM guard taken off, you're also going to need to remove two more bolts here in the side cover. You're going to remove this bolt here and this bolt here. You can set these bolts off to the side as well because you will not need these anymore either. Okay, depending on if you have a 2019 model or a 2020 model like we have here, you're going to use different bolts on the back to where you took out the OEM chain guide. On the 2020 model, they're recessed a little bit. On the 2019 models, they're not recessed like that. So on the 2020, you'll need the spacers. But we're going to show you with the EE clutch slave guard, you're going to take two of your 6x30 bolts and go here into the side cover where you remove just the side cover bolts. And you can just get them started, but don't tighten them yet. Leave yourself plenty of room if you need to get that spacer in. Okay, a unique feature with this clutch slave guard is you can still run the plastic cover if you wish. You can run it with or without. On the 2019 model, if you want to run it with, you're going to take two of the 6x35 bolts and then run it through the plastic guard and then into the case. If you want to run it without, you're just going to take two of the 6x25 bolts and run straight through the Enduro Engineering clutch slave guard and then into the case. But since we have a 2020 model here, we're going to show you how to install this. Okay, if you wish to run this without the plastic cover that comes with the bike, you're just going to take the provided spacers, take two of your 6x30 bolts, and run them straight through, putting the spacer on the back side, and then starting those by hand, both top and bottom. Okay, if you want to run the plastic chain cover with the Enduro Engineering Slave Guard, go ahead and take two of the 6x40 bolts, run them through the plastic chain guard, still using the spacer on the back side, and get those started by hand both on the top and the bottom. Okay, even if you've got the plastic chain guide on or if you're choosing to run it without, you've got all your bolts started here but are loose, now's the time to take your 8mm T-handle or socket and go ahead and tighten all four bolts down to factory spec. And now that you have your Enduro Engineering clutch slave guard installed on your two-stroke Sherco, it's going to hold up a lot better and protect that slave guard if your chain was to break or if you get a rock lodge between the chain and the cases. Uh, don't be alarmed. You're going to have extra bolts left over after you're done with the process. That's going to be depending on what combo you went with, with or without the plastic guard. And if you have a 2019 or 2020 model, that's why we supply different bolts. If you have any questions or to order one today, give us a call at 517-393-2421 or visit us at EnduroENG.com.